<laughs> Those honeycomb hearts, dude. The music. This is freaking amazing, guys. I love this. Yo, what's up, guys? Martin Garden here. Welcome back to the Martin Garden YouTube channel. And I found an amazing ROM hack. <laughs> I'm so excited to share it with you guys. It's called Banjo Kazooie The Jiggies of Time. And it's actually a Banjo Kazooie ROM hack in which you travel the lands of Ocarina of Time. This is freaking amazing, guys. I love this. So let me just read this article over here. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie meets Legend of Zelda in epic Jiggies of Time N64 mod. Okay. So are you a fan of The Legend of Zelda? Do you have a penchant for? rares lovable yet forgotten bear and bird duo if your answer to both of these questions is yes then you are going to adore the legend of banjo kazooie the jiggies of time the legends of banjo kazooie <laughs> yo that cover is also really cool dude <laughs> the n64 mod merges banjo kazooie with the legend of zelda ocarina of time to create a brand new adventure you can play in your n64 and it's absolutely fantastic we are gonna play this on stream guys so if you are not following the twitch channel yet be sure to head on over to twitch.tv slash live and follow me over there so you can watch me play this live and you can interact with me and chat and stuff it's gonna be a lot of fun the legend of banjo kazooie the jigs of time is the work of talented modder kirko mods they previously released uh, they created other crossover mods including the legend of banjo kazooie the bear waker oh and the covid 19 themed stay at home mod the bear waker bro omg Okay, so we are also gonna cover those on this channel, but not right now. <laughs> but it's fair to say that Jiggies of Time is in a completely different league to these past projects. Okay, so this is like um, a full game. Kirko has been working on this mod for the past five years. Bro, five years? It's a full-length game that contains nine worlds with 100 Jiggies, 900 musical notes, and a ton of Easter eggs to find. Yo, I am hyped, dude. <laughs> to call Jiggies of Time a labor of love just wouldn't do it justice. This is a staggering achievement in N64 modding and without doubt the best N64 mod today. Man, I can't contain my hype, dude. Thankfully, it's fully playable on an original N64 console. Wow, cool. And I've included instructions on how you can do this within the article. Cool, cool, cool. The Hyrule you know and love, but different. At its at its core, the Legend of Banjo-Kazooie, the Jiggies of Time, is still a Banjo-Kazooie game. It plays just like the Bear and Bird's original N64 adventure, but set in Ocarina of Time's world. Something has gone wrong in the hand, land of Hyrule. The wicked witch Gruntilda has somehow sidelined Ganondorf and decided to take the kingdom for herself. Young Link apparently isn't up to the task of giving her the boot and so the responsibility falls to Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> Kirko has done a fantastic job of merging the two universes together. The world of Ocarina of Time is lovingly recreated, managing to feel both familiar and fresh at the same time. Yeah, it looks really fresh. I I, I agree. Classic locations such as uh, Kokiri Forest, Kakariko Village and Death Mountain are instantly recognizable by their layout. That said, they're not one-to-one -one replicas and rightly so. Yeah, he he remade everything. And it's amazing. Everything is decorated and styled to look like the world of Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, exactly. Even the enemies are reskinned to resemble classic Zelda creatures. Not only that, but Kirko has used creative license to slightly alter or outright expand areas with new features. <laughs> Man, five years of work. Insane. As a result, Jiggies of Time feels very much like its own game, rather than an awkward retread. Uh, through an already well-trodden world. it's re It really strikes a perfect balance. Damn, dude. Nostalgia overload. Diddy! <laughs> Kirko has stopped the game full of Nintendo and Rare references. Wow. Everywhere you go, you'll stumble upon classic game boxes and other Easter eggs that'll make you smile. Okay. The amount of effort that has gone into some of these is truly astonishing. A wonderful, beautifully crafted soundtrack complements this delightful mishmash of an adventure. Music from, from Ocarina of Time and other Zelda games has been Banjo-Kazooie-fied, <laughs> incorporating the whimsical xylophone, banjo and horn sound of the franchise. It somehow manages to be doubly nostalgic as a result. I like that. The trademark Banjo-Kazooie charm perforates the entire experience. 
Dialogue is true to the characters with plenty of sarcasm and self-deprecating humor throughout. Well, hey, at last, a brand new game. <laughs> the legend of collecting stuff. Ooh, here we go. You progress through the Jiggies of Time's locations in more or less the same order as Ocarina of Time. However, it's important to note that this isn't just the same game, but with Banjo and Kazooie instead of Link. Rather, it's very much the original... It's very much like the original Banjo-Kazooie. You travel across nine worlds, self-contained levels, each containing ten Jiggies, five Jinjos, two honeycomb pieces, and a hundred musical notes for you to collect. Sick. How many worlds? Nine worlds, wow, okay. These worlds are often an amalgamation of multiple areas from Ocarina of Time. For example, Death Mountain World features the Mountain Trail, the Dongus Cavern, Goron City, and an additional area to explore. Wow, okay. That is epic. So multiple areas have been like combined together in one world. That's sick. To advance from one world to the next, you'll need to collect enough jiggies and notes along the way. Okay. You don't need an intimate knowledge of Ocarina of Time, but being familiar with the game will help in some instances. Okay, sure. Well, I got that. No problem. <laughs> Kirko has included Zelda-themed mumbo transformations. Wow. That is so sick, dude. So it's important to collect tokens for those two. Wow, dude. <laughs> Mumbo calls this the bomb bag. <laughs> Crazy, dude. Okay, getting around. Hyrule Field serves as, a g as the game's hub world, where you can unlock all the main worlds. It has its own sub-areas for you to explore, such as Lon Lon Ranch, as well as 10 Jiggies to find. Wow, that's sick. As nostalgic as Hyrule Field may be, it can get a tad repetitive having to constantly traipse back and forth across it. Thankfully, Kirko has introduced a fast travel system which you have to unlock. Okay. However, there are some requirements you must meet before you can access the world through this handy system. Firstly, you need to have enough jiggies and musical notes. You then have to find that world's hidden portrait somewhere within the game to actually unlock it. Okay. It's a good setup. Having fast travel is a blessing, especially as you always start the game in the same location each time. But it's also nice that doesn't devalue the exploration for which Banjo-Kazooie is known. Okay, sick. Night and day? It has a night and day cycle? Mm. Yeah, I'm drinking coffee through a straw, guys. It's true. Why? Because I bleached my teeth. And now I have to. <laughs> okay, night and day. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time impresses players, impressed players with its day and night cycle in 1998. Jiggies of Time also manages to incorporate this feature to some extent. In this mod, time doesn't flow as such. Instead, you can switch between day and night by using a special platform. Okay, switching to nighttime in Hyrule Field opens up sections of the map that are inaccessible during the day. It's a neat touch and one that makes Hyrule Field a little bit more dynamic. Explore like never before. Jiggies of Time is a ref refreshingly challenging experience in terms of gameplay. Kirko has implemented new ideas, clearly inspired by Zelda in some cases, that shake up the traditional Banjo-Kazooie formula. For one, this mod really tests your attention to detail. You have to be especially eagle-eyed if you want to find every single collectible item in the game. Alright, cool. The Forest Temple world is a particular highlight in this regard. In order to collect everything in this world, you need to find clues to solve unusual puzzles. Not only that, but it even tasks you with learning an entirely new alphabet, which you, <laughs> which you then need to use to decipher coded messages throughout the temple. What?! That is so next level. I love that, man. <laughs> this cerebral style of level design is unlike anything seen in the original N64 games. Yeah, damn. It breathes new life uh, in the Banjo-Kazooie experience, and I personally enjoyed the novel touch of having to take pen and paper notes. That is so cool, dude. Okay, so it's like really... Um, Immersive. I love that. If this has got you thinking that the mod might be too tricky, don't worry. There's help at hand. As in the original Banjo-Kazooie, Brantilda appears in each world, offering up to three clues about how to progress. Damn. That's really detailed for a mod. That's insane. It's like a real full-fledged game. Crazy, man. On a much grander scale, there's also the Bottles Museum. Okay. This new feature lets you unlock clues hinting at the whereabouts of secret locations, provided you have enough musical notes. <laughs> Man, there is so much incentive to like collect everything, I love it. The clues are helpful without being super obvious, meaning you won't be missing out on a challenge by calling upon them. Oh, I'm so hyped to play this, man. <laughs> you also need to demonstrate great platforming skills throughout the game. Jiggies of Time features some truly perilous platforming sections, and this is where the game really shines. <laughs> Look at that rare flag. <laughs> 
That said, the game can be a bit too unforgiving at times. Oh, I like that. For example, Death Mountain is a fantastic recreation of the original locale, but it's incredibly easy to die instantly in part. So much so that the game's dialogue even jokes about it. <laughs> On top of this, Jiggies of Time, understandably, features the same limitation as the original game, where you, where you will lose any musical notes you've collected in the world if you die. Oh, damn. As frustrating as these moments can be, they're thankfully far and few between them. Okay, yeah, this looks kind of hard. Some of the challenges and puzzles that were in the original game make an appearance too. However, they've been reworked in most cases to feel fresh and different. I was particularly impressed with how Kirko revised the Croctus minigame, the one where you shoot eggs into the mouth, mouths of golden crocodile statues. Okay, okay, interesting. It is so freaking cool. I'm gonna show you a little bit right now. So check this out, guys. It's so sick. So this first video is like the Lost Woods and Kakiri Forest. Check this out. So it's a Banjo-Kazooie ROM hack. So you actually play as Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> the music, it's so sick. So you have to collect jingies. It's like a whole new Banjo-Kazooie game, but it's set in the world of Ocarina of Time. So in this video, you see a bit of the Lost Woods and Kakiri Forest. Which is so sick. Look at this, dude. So this is uh, Kokiri Forest. How cool is this, man? Like, I literally can't wait to play this stuff. The Deku Tree! The freaking Deku Tree, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> man, I so want to play this. So I haven't played this yet, but I just want to share it with you guys because it's so cool. So, okay, I have another video here. Hyrule Castle Town. Dude. <laughs> this is so sick, man. Dude, I love this, man. This is gonna be so freaking lit to play. <laughs> you can actually get in the castle. <laughs> Dude, the Diddy Kong racing uh, paintings instead of like... Mario and Luigi. Yeah, I'm hyped for this, dude. Kakariko Village. <laughs> oh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> Dude, this is lit hit and Death Mountain. <laughs> Those honeycomb hearts, dude. The music. This is freaking amazing, guys. I love this. How does the mod perform on console? The Legend of Banjo Kazooie The Jiggies of Time is fully playable on an original N64 console. In especially large areas, you may notice some slowdown, but never to the point that the game is unplayable. There are also some slight graphical glitches in parts. Yeah, so I'm gonna play it on an emulator. I just want the best quality. But still, if you want to play it on original hardware, you can. It's not a problem. For a couple of the in-game challenges, you'll need to refer to a map or clue that appears within the game world. These can be very small in size and difficult to decipher, especially when played on a modern TV. Ah, okay. If if possible, play the game on a small to medium-sized CRT TV for the best results. CRTs, baby! Damn! The hidden gems! I fully tested the pre-release version of the game and did not come across any game-breaking issues. Okay, so how to play on PC emulator? Yeah, so I will tell you this stuff. So how can I play The Legend of Banjo-Kazooie The Jiggies of Time? Yeah, I'm gonna explain it to you now, like how you can play it and mod it and like put it in your emulator and stuff. Yo, what up everybody and welcome to the tutorial section of this video. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can download the patch and play it on your PC or put it on your EverDrive and play it on your original hardware. So the first thing we need to do guys is download the Banjo and Kazooie ROM. Uh, the links are in the description below by the way and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, so we are going to download the ROM. We are going to put it in a separate folder. So just make a folder for it, you know, just make a separate folder. And after that, we are going to have to download the patch, obviously. So that's what I'm going to do now. So you need the ROM and the patch. So let's download that. 
so it's downloading right now and as you can tell in this notepad over here are more of the instructions i will also put those in the description below so let's download the patch um yeah so here we go now you need to unzip these so you can use like winrar or 7zip or whatever you want so i'm going to extract this patch uh this rom over here so this is the rom so the banjo kazooie dot z64 rom and this is the patch so let's also extract those files so now we have uh, a folder with the patch files and the ROM file you can um, delete the other packages you don't need them anymore so okay what we are gonna do now is use the X Delta patcher uh, to apply the patch onto the ROM so let's do that so we are gonna go in here and this is the X Delta folder so let's get in there and now we are gonna open that up and the original file is going to go here. So that is going to be the, the ROM that you downloaded. And the X Delta patch is this one. So that's in the folder you extracted from the patch uh, .zip or .rar. So let's do that. And then you pr press uh, apply patch. And then it says patch successfully applied nice so now in the jiggies of time version 1.1 folder there should be oh wait 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 so this one so the original file is now the jiggies of time file so if we load that into project 64 there you go now you have the game so if it doesn't work guys if you get like uh, error messages you have to let's see open up the ROM file on project 64 two error messages will pop up check this tutorial to fix them it's really easy so change 4 MB to 8 MB is the first thing you have to do um so here in the graphics no wait 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 where is that settings you go to options and settings and you press config and then you do memory size uh you change that to 8 mbs and let's see those error messages how can we fix those i think you just had to press like uh okay or something but let's check Okay, so maybe an error message appears when you try to open the game first. The first time. Yeah, you just have to accept both errors. And then change... The RAM to 8 MBs. The memory size. And that's all you have to do. So guys, that's how you play this game. Uh, you can play with the GameCube controller or whatever you want. So, yeah, it's, it's really freaking cool. I'm really excited to play this. Oh my god, look. Oh my god, this is so freaking epic. This is the shit. Okay, this is amazing, dude. So I'm going to play this on stream. I think tonight is going to be the first stream. So if you're watching this on YouTube right now, on the day that this video is uploaded, be sure to head on over to twitch.tv slash martingardenlife. Follow me there, and I will start streaming this. So it's going to be in multiple streams, obviously, because it's kind of a big game, but it's so cool. So I hope to see you there, guys. I hope everything works. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you have any feedback on these videos, drop them in the comments below. Below. If you have any ideas for me um, on videos that you want me to do, like drop them in the comments below. And if you really can't figure it out how this works, uh, be sure to head on over to my Discord server. It's also in the description below. And send me a personal message over there or drop it in the Ask Me Anything channel. But 
I'd rather have a personal direct message so I can respond um, and answer your questions and like help you out if you really can't figure it out. So be sure to subscribe guys if you like the content, it would really help me out. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers, that would be so cool. So then I can monetize the channel and I need like 4,000 watch hours or something, but whatever. I am here to help you and you are not here to help me, but hey, if you want to... It will make my day, bro. So I will see you in the next video. Holla at your boy. Bye-bye.